The problem with TikTok is not the videos on the app. The problem with TikTok is it's a backdoor for the Chinese Communist Party into the personal lives and information, into the most intimate details of every American's life. And we know the link between TikTok and the Chinese Communist Party is real, and we know that it is strong. TikTok is a wholly owned subsidiary of the Chinese parent company, ByteDance. We know that ByteDance has Chinese Communist Party members in its senior leadership. In fact, ByteDance's editor-in-chief is a Communist Party secretary. We know the Communist Party has done trainings for TikTok and ByteDance personnel. We have video of it being done in Beijing, in China. Whistleblowers have come forward to my office and to others and given us evidence that China-based engineers are able to access Americans' personal data at any time that they want. Again, the CEO was, did not deny that last week. No, the links to the Chinese Communist Party are real, and they are inscribed in Chinese law. This isn't just a matter of what TikTok may want to do. No, TikTok as a wholly owned subsidiary of the Chinese parent company is subject to Chinese law, which both the 2014 espionage law in that country and their 2017 national security law, which require, require the company to turn over data that the Chinese Communist Party, that Beijing may request, under those laws, they must make Americans' data available, must make it available to Chinese Communist officials. This is in addition to the CCP members who are actually senior officials in these companies, who work in these companies, who have access to Americans' data as I stand here and speak to you today. There are two main reasons why we might not want to do this. The one would be the First Amendment to the Constitution. Speech is protected, whether you like it or not. The second reason would be is that the Constitution actually prohibits bills of attainder. You're not allowed to have a specific bill against a person or a company. So this fails on two egregious points, pretty obvious points, and I think we ought to think about that. I think we should beware of those who peddle fear, I think we should beware of those who use fear to coax Americans to relinquish our liberties, to regulate and limit our First Amendment rights. Every accusation of data gathering that's been attributed to TikTok could also be attributed to domestic big tech companies. The Republican strategy to ban TikTok comes simultaneously with GOP complaints of domestic social media companies canceling and censoring conservatives. Without a hint of irony, many of these same conservatives now rail against censorship while advocating for censorship against social media apps they worry are influenced by the Chinese. Before banning TikTok, these censors might want to discover that China already bans TikTok. Hmm, do we really want to emulate Chinese speech bans? Aren't we the ones that say it's wrong for China to ban speech, so we're going to be just like China and ban speech we're afraid of? This is not a First Amendment issue because we're not trying to ban booty videos. I don't know if there's a better term for it, but that's not what we're trying to ban. This is not about the content of the videos that are online. It is about the dangers to the national security that are presented by the way that this company functions. And that's what people don't understand and what I think we need all people an explanation on. So who owns the algorithm? The algorithm is owned by a company named ByteDance that's in China. Now listen, I don't care who owns ByteDance. I don't care if it's owned 100% by Americans. ByteDance operates out of China, and this is what we need to understand. There are no such things as private companies in China. They're, they do not exist. Under Chinese law, their national security law, their national intelligence law, every company in China has to do whatever the Communist Party tells them. So if the Communist Party goes to ByteDance and says, we want you to use that algorithm to push these videos on Americans to convince them of whatever, they have to do it. They don't have an option. They may not want to do it, but ask Jack Ma what happens, no matter how rich you are, when you don't want to do what the Communist Party tells you to do. You move to Singapore for a year and disappear. That's what happens. 